Good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, Charlotte Limousin from Delphis, and I will introduce a little bit more who or what is Delphis. And uh, I'm in charge of the last session of today. We had, uh, I think, great presentations uh, this morning and earlier, so I think this last session will be as interesting as the, the first two. And maybe just as an introduction, um, I heard this morning a, a sentence that I quite like. Um, it's maybe a bit basic, but uh, you have to have a dream before you organize it. Uh, Mr. Arnfred they said that this morning. And I think this is important. And I think the conclusion this morning was also that we have to think about what we want to be and what we want to do in 20 years time and be proactive on that uh, instead of uh, being passive. And I think that's what we're going to discuss also uh, in this last session. So first, uh, what is Delphis? It's not a national social housing federation. It's a network of housing providers, of 27 housing providers from France. And uh, we are um, um, working on innovation and exchange of good practices on different subjects including corporate social responsibility that I will present today. We are a founding member of the network Euronet that you may know, which gathers about 30 organizations in Europe. And we have been involved in CSR since 20, uh, 2006. Uh, maybe you've heard about the URGR, which is a framework for CSR in social housing. And I'm the coordinator of the ERIN project that we will um, discuss and that I will present today. So first, uh, the title of today's conference was Responsible Housing. But what is responsible housing? And I think that may be the dream that we want to achieve and that we want to create together with our partners uh, in the coming years. Um, and we have defined, and I, when I say we, uh, it's based on interviews that we've, we've made with the different actors from the sector, as responsible housing as a, a fair and ethical housing production and management. And I think fair and ethical are important words in today's context. Um, and I also think that it's in, important to stress on production, but also management and services. Uh, we'll see that. So responsible housing, it's about housing design and services. And we've talked about a lot about housing design this morning. And I think uh, we also mentioned services to tenants, to inhabitants, and I think this is a very a core dimension of what we do. And housing design and services that answer, of course, population's housing needs, energy and efficient, uh, uh, energy efficient and low environmental impact housing. And it's a form of housing which also promotes social inclusion, uh, social mix, and local development attractiveness. So that's for the housing design and services, but I think, or we think, that responsible housing is also about housing organizations themselves and what they want to be and what is their role and their place in society, in communities, and with other actors. So that's the global, global picture, and as I said, I think that's the goal that we should seek to achieve but we will not be able to do that uh, by our own, uh, uh, on our own. We will need partnerships, and we've seen interesting examples of partnerships, and I think that's an important point. But I think to, to mobilize that, we need corporate social responsibility, is what housing providers at their level can do to stimulate responsible housing, to stimulate partnerships and to try to create with their partners what they want to provide for communities. So CSR, we presented as a global management framework. This is the definition from the European Commission, the responsibility of enterprises for their impacts on society. So when we say social responsibility, it's of course not about only social aspects, but also environment and everything which affects society. And what I think is important to keep in mind is that CSR is not only about what you do, but it's also about how you do it. Because the whole process of delivering housing and delivering services 
also has impacts on society, and this is what we should also look at. So for us, CSR is in fact, it's a concept, and we have to admit that it's a concept, but it's a very useful global management framework. And when I say global, it's because it means that you have everything, or you should have everything in mind. You should at look at all the dimensions of your activity, all the impacts of your activity, of the processes, and it all, it's also about being aware and fully aware of all the needs, all the expectations, and we've seen earlier on the presentations that there are growing and changing expectations today um, towards social housing and housing providers in general. There are changing social needs. Um, we've talked about vulnerability, but there is also the challenge of aging, the challenge of new forms of family, which impacts the, the housing needs and the housing forms. Um, so there are these social needs, but there are also environmental constraints that we cannot ignore. There are growing economic constraints that we also have to address. Um, and this is what, why we have to need to, to have all this in mind um, if we want to, to deliver what we call responsible housing. The other idea on CSR is that we, you have to move from a self-centered focus to a more collective perspective. Because the difficult point is about balancing all this dimension. We've mentioned environment, economic, social, and everything. Sometimes uh, you have conflicting or, or diverging objectives. And the question is, how do you balance that? How do you decide when you know that if you put too much on the environment, it might increase the cost for your tenants? So how do you decide in that? And I think the solution is also in collective dialogue and, and having all the people around. Um, it's also about uh, ensuring and increasing legitimacy, and I think that's a big issue also for the, for the sector. I will not go into details about practical examples because we've had examples earlier uh, this afternoon and we will have some more with a round table. So I just wanted to set the general framework and of course if you have questions, uh, I can answer questions.